Island Prepper. Here it is. Just arrived and fell off the truck. New EcoFlow Delta Pro. Getting ready to do my unboxing. Just put you on pause a sec while I take out my trusty unboxing knife. All right, so Rio, come here. Let me get this thing on here on the deck. Okay, now, they say it weighs 100 pounds. It weighs more like 500 pounds. So anyway, oh, here we go. So that is one of my Delta Pros. Let's get this thing. It was storming today. Believe it or not, we have no power. Great day to have a portable generator. So. I feel like you should get a better, sharper knife. Or just do that. That works right. also. So, that's why I have Intelligent Sons. Okay. And watch your leg. Alright. So, this is the second unboxing. Because I bought two of them. So, I'll tell you. <clears throat> I was watching uh, the Wacky Professor on YouTube, and um, he announced that they had a sale going on on this, and on top of the sale, I got another 5% off by using his code. So I took advantage of it, saved about $600. And instead of buying of one, you bought two. Great. And uh, then I got the free shipping to the shipping yard, but I did have to pay Florida taxes, which I'm not happy. I'm going to try to get that back. And then I shipped it out to my location, which took me almost no time at all. The shipping was really cheap. Came up to $320 for the shipping. And the best news is I saved about $5,000 compared to buying it here with those thieving bastards. I think they're giving you a deal because they're not charging you taxes. Nobody pays taxes in Puerto Rico for anything that has to do with renewable energy. Anyway, so uh, let's take a look at this. First of all, let's get them legs out. So, all right, look how pretty that is. So, I got. Uh, 30 amp uh, connector there so I can connect it to my where my generator is connected to which I just ran out of gas which cost $25 for five gallons for the damn thing and here is the other one and here's the boxes with all the goodies so let's see what we have here hmm. trusty knife open says me okay so, I'm not going to go through opening all of these. Let's see what we have. Hmm. This is closed here. I wonder why. Okay, so. That's not closed. That's just uh, like the tape that protects the top part. connector board. here. This connects to my car. And this connects to, right over there, to my uh, solar panels, which I have an extra connection there to connect to my solar panels when it's working. So I'm going to see how it works and if it works okay. So anyway, um, I'm going to start working on this soon and hopefully I can get some power done today. Uh, I got to go through the manual. They said I got to read this stuff. Not, but I just want to see what's in here. Again, that's just a sticker that just protects the top part. You can rip that off. Oh, really? Yeah. So I might as well just leave that on there then. Now, I want to see. They said these, you can't mount these one on top of the other. So okay. You're going to try to mount it on top of the other. Thank you. You probably shouldn't put it on top until it is. You can see it's not you probably for a reason. Well, it probably gets too hot. I don't know. I don't know if it gets hot or 
It's it cold. Is. Well, the fans are on the side, so I think it wouldn't yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. Lift, lift that in. Let's see what happens. Oh, it has it wheels. That's probably so heavy. It will break it. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Take it out. So now you can also put it, invert it, and put them this way, because I've already seen them do this. To take up less space, isn't it? Yes. So I'm going to stick it in my little corner over here. And, wow, I like that. That's cool. So, let's turn them on. What, do these things just have power already? There's one. It has three days worth of charge, but it's only at 30%. Imagine if this thing got to 100%. So exactly, what is that? How did that and go? And this is three days worth of charge, Two which is at 30%. Like I'm guessing those are, the, I think that's like the factory power setting so, that they give you. Yeah, I guess so. They must do it that way. Um, but before I go any further with this, I do have to uh, make sure that I can uh, get my manual read and get everything hooked up properly. So I don't want to screw anything up, man. These things are too expensive and they're too nice. But anyway, what a cool week it is. No power today. I wish they came by, by 100% charge. It would have been great. So, but I'm going to connect these. Uh, see if I can do a little connection with my solar panels now that we have some sun coming out. And, uh, and go from there. Just stand by a second. Just to connect both of these together. So, I don't remember where you get active from but i think it's here so i remember that coming into you bought yeah. that separate yeah i bought this from amazon let me tell you something uh so far the service at ecoflow lousy um i asked them to put a booking number on it they didn't do it it got lost it took them two days to find it at crowley crowley service excellent uh i gotta say that i was really impressed they delivered to Santo Domingo, all the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and I had these delivered here to Puerto Rico. Um, but, man, I'm so happy to finally get these. So, Island Prepper, until the next episode, over and out. Okay, part two here. So, here I go. As you can see, I have both of them charging now. What I did is I have a small... Uh, portable charger with inverter the thing runs about eight nine hours uh, a little less than a gallon of gas so I tried to hook them both up because it's 2300 uh, surge watts I guess and 1800 running watts it wouldn't run both of them even though they were just charging at 399 uh, it would charge one at 399 but it would not charge the other one it would shut the inverter off or the, the generator off. So anyway, uh, I was figuring that maybe I can, since they do advertise that they do have that uh, generator that can run these. But what I'm going to do here is I connected this to my outlet where my solar panel is connected to. So now we have a cloudy day. Power just came back. So I'm back on, on grid tie. And what I did was each one of these runs their own 110. Shoots up there, that's a sub breaker or sub panel. And then I connect there where I can connect my generator and I can also connect the uh, solar panels. That's 3000 watts coming in. So that right there allows um, up to uh, 220 or 240, I guess. Uh, volts to uh, to come in and that runs my whole house everything fridges air conditioning you name it it runs it so I am running this off of two separate circuit breakers uh, both the 30 amp breakers so and those uh, 20 amp uh, switches well one of them is a 20 amp the other one's a 15 amp so I'm going to slow charge these for the first time whoa something happened there it shut off I don't know why. And this one seems to be running fine at 400 watts. This one is not. And I have to see what happened. Okay, I guess because that's a 15 amp 
switch there. Maybe something happened there. Anyway, so I'm figuring the grid tie inverter feeds the house. The house then feeds the... My cat tried to escape. The house then feeds the inverters. Uh, but uh, it looks like they're on. Fans blowing. I just don't have any screen. Okay, time to read the instructions. Anyway, I don't prep her out. Okay, so they're all both char charging right around 400 watts each. So it's going to take a long time. I don't want to charge it at a higher pace. For some reason or another, my connection shows that I'm putting 240 volts out, but out of every single outlet, which is impossible because I, I haven't broken anything yet. So I think my uh, my climb uh, voltmeter is not working correctly. Anyway, I want to see what happens. This will give me time while that's charging to uh, read it and program my phone to this and get all that stuff done. Anyway, island prepper. Okay, so it's been quite a few hours already and I've been charging both of these. I want to get them to 100% and then give it a trial run tomorrow. And what I did was I inverted them straight up vertical. Nice space on both sides, about maybe seven inches. Seems to be blowing cool air. And I just want to see where they are. Okay, about two hours left on the charging. I'm still charging them at 400 watts. So, and this one's at 77%. So I had that one charging a few additional minutes. So I got to take them inside the house so as I can program them because my internet doesn't reach out here. So, but anyway, um, I am doing this with no solar right now because it's nighttime and it's already been running. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's not showing how many hours, but got two hours left before it's full charge on both of them so I figure that uh, it's about 8 o'clock now about 10 o'clock should be ready and they're supposed to shut off automatically once they're fully charged so but I will see anyway um, tomorrow will be a test run see how they run the whole house and my air conditioning and uh, we'll go from there that should finish my first video with this. So happy to have them here though.